Good morning, and to the Jews out there, Shabbat Shalom. And since it's an obligation to talk about the congregation, I'll just take a second and say that um, we meet at Killian Pines United Methodist Church, and uh, most of my congregants do not keep kosher. We drive on Sabbath, we handle money, so you can call us what you want, but remain unaffiliated so we can be part of many different groups. The election is August 24th, but August 24th brings together another recollection, and that's Hurricane Andrew. And I was here, my wife, our two little ones, our parents, we prepared our home as best as we could, as many of you probably did, filled up the bathtub with water, boarded up the windows, but we were not prepared for what was to come. An eight-foot section by eight-foot section of the roof flew off. Furniture, everything flying. And we ran from room to room as the ceiling collapsed, yeah. praying that a two-by-four wouldn't come through and impale us. We survived. And when the aftermath was over, and everybody stepped outside, nobody cared whether you were a Democrat or Republican, the color of your skin, how you felt on an issue. You looked around and you saw the devastation and you said, how can I help? And it's that kind of helpfulness and way about us that we need to address everything in our lives. I look at the women in this room if that weren't the case and we were going to go back to scripture, you wouldn't be here. You weren't allowed to go into higher learning. You weren't giving voting rights until eight years ago or so. You were considered like a property. So laws had to change to be able to make things fair. Well, we have our current Andrew right now. And our current Andrew is this. Everything that everybody's talking about the financial situation. But we have two considerations with this. One is, what are we going to do to be able to make the financial situation better? The second is, if you look on it, it says, in God we trust. And from a hundred dollar bill down to a penny, everything says, in God we trust. Now, I don't have time to be able to address any issues. Maybe afterwards, maybe time permitting, the bell goes off with, uh, doesn't go off and I'm finished. But you can look on my website. No, it's not a cop out. You can look on my website, you can see exactly what I stand for and how I address all of this. I have such an eclectic background. I've served as a builder in this, in this uh, county. I still run and have run multi-million dollar budgets to the penny. And you can again look and see all the organizations that I support to be able to preserve our environment, the cultural arts. I like what was said earlier about getting something from nothing because I believe in that as well. Work is if you have nothing and make the most out of it. You know, we're all up here to be able to get the same position. And the question is, who's going to do the best? And the bottom line is that not one of the candidates, myself included, have been in the shoes. We've all done things and accomplished great things because we've been able to get in there and do the best we can based on our life experiences. And you better believe as a rabbi, I've encountered everything all aspects of life and address it the best that I know way, that I know how. I come from the tribe of Levi. It's a tribe that goes back, they were the servants and still remain the servants of God. In a Jewish wedding, we put the ring, the wedding ring, on this finger because it's supposed to be the closest to the mind. 
We then switch it later to the traditional ring finger, mine's too small. <laughs> the idea is that you think everything with your head and your heart and you make the most balanced decision that you can. My campaign is Danny from Miami. I don't have anything on the table. If you want to know more, please come up and say hello. I'll give you a card and I hope that I can be your faithful servant. Thank you.